So the armrest for the Cadillac is the original. You can see it's uh, not in very good shape. And I'm not sure where the other one went. My memory, I had to, but uh, we have moved a few times, so I'm not sure how it disappeared exactly. Anyway, this goes here. It's kind of hard to find a 47 Cadillac armrest, but so originally this was like this. This brick was on the door here, and let's put your hand in here. The foam sits there, and then this is the cover goes on underneath. Of course it's missing some of the uh, interior, the cloth there, it's all rotten. And then this piece goes here, and the cloth wraps around. It's all nicely finished. I will, I was afraid of making this bracket, so I probably shouldn't have been. In second inspection, it's not as complex as I thought it was. So I may yet do that. And this piece, of course, is quite simple. It's cloth on the metal backing. And the chickens aren't getting along, apparently. So I bought this um, armrest. It's for a 49 Oldsmobile. Um, it will certainly do for now, and I don't expect to enter the car in any competitions, so I'm going to deal with that. I'll live with it. So this sits on top like that. And then this one goes here. It's got three silver or chromed screws. And it sits on the door like that. So what I did with these was they had light rust on them. So I sandblasted them, painted them, clear coat on top of that. Open these tabs, take off the stainless steel strip, polished it. It was lightly rusted and it came up quite nicely quite easily as well. And that goes there, and that goes there. So fortunately, I have all the vinyl, so I was able to use it as a sample. From that, I cut these two pieces here, sewed them together the same distance. Now that will wrap around the foam, which is here. I use some more of the Jigaloo oil spray and Cleaned that off and it feels good. There's still lots of life left in that. And then I will clean off this side and the this piece gets glued through here. So I will stretch it, put it on there, and then put it back together on that. And then I'll put those two on the door. I did cut some pieces yesterday to adapt this. Just a light filing on the inside makes the bull holes the same length apart. This one fits against the door at an angle, like uh, that. So the screws that mount it go up into the door at a 45 degree angle. These are meant to be mounted straight across. So I made, I used the mini power hacksaw, see a previous episode. And I cut some 45s off some uh, fairly large steel rod. And I'll use those as spacers and the bolt. The screw will then go up into the door as original. So that will last for some time. Nobody's going to notice that this is from a 49 and not a 47. There it is with the vinyl glued in place. To do a little bit more here to get that to compress better. But... This will go against the door, and some of the fabric on the door will roll over that. So it should hide it fairly well. Then these tabs get bent slightly, just to hold it in place. And this will go on like this. Help to use the right one. That's how it will look. 
and the three screws in there. It should not look out of place at all. And there's the finished product. A couple little spots I'm not real happy with, but it certainly doesn't look out of place. It's only my upholstery work that I criticize. Other than that, it even looks like it's original.